Welcome everybody to Final Fantasy for the Game Boy Advance. This is Final Fantasy 1. And we're inside a volcano, it looks like. Um I don't want to step on oh, oh hold on. we can step on lava? I'm not dead, but it sure looks like it hurt. Okay. Uh, I guess we're just gonna walk on it? Okay, it definitely looks like it's hurt. I bet you it's hurting for every step I take. How much is it doing? Well, not that bad. But it's definitely hurting every step I take. So that means you want to get to land as soon as possible. And there's some stairs already. And we're already on second floor. Well, there's a door right away, so let's go in there. I see a treasure chest. I would like to be a part of that. The Fire Hydra. The Fire Hydra. Wish I had some kind of water weapon, but we still won. Let's. Ooh, there's another treasure chest. Double your treasure chest, double your fun. The Fire and Elemental. Much like the Earth Elemental, it is its cousin. Let's just reskin the same enemies we had from before, but we'll... The Mithril Helm. Is that something I already own? Yeah, it is. Can you wear the Mithril Helm? No. Can you wear... No. Can you? No. So basically, I purchased something I could have had for free. Great. As yet again, I will continue to try to conserve my magics and my lives as we go along here. So far, so good. Enemies here aren't too bad. Could be worse. Like, these ogres and shit. They aren't anything of... Ooh, scaly ogre. Alright, what's down this way? There's my treasure chest. More slug on dug dugs. An ank. Ank heg. Ank heg. Oh, I've been poisoned. That's no good. Nobody likes that. Uh, attack, attack, death, a little hit, nope, seven hit points didn't do it, that will. I need an antidote, antidote for my antidotes. Okay, but we'll also, double fire elemental. Uh, instantly kills all foes. I somehow doubt that's going to work, but we're going to try it anyways. Well, one is down. Let's see if the Scourge works. It's a miss. It's a miss. Doesn't instantly kill. You know, instantaneous death. Yeah, only if it hits. Cows getting to level strength, stamina, yes. What do we got here? 1,520 gil. Oh, there's another door, but that only leads out to the main hallway. Is this like a side route then? Or is this the actual place I need to go? <laughs> These are the decisions I must make in life. And, uh, that health is being drained from my body very quickly. Man, could you have gone with, like, four warriors? Because, like, I feel like this game might be easy with four warriors, but... <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm sure there's got to be some kind of negative aspect to this. But, like, if I just went with four warriors, would I not 
be just whooping ass everywhere? But I think that'd be against the the spirit of the game here. Where you're supposed to have different classes and different things to try out. But like, seriously, the warrior dude, Mr. Cow's there, the main dude. Look at all that HP he's got. Look at the damage he does. He barely takes a scratch from most things. Ooh, another treasure chest. The Horned Devil. It's a very horny devil. Ooh, wow, only... Oh. The horniest of all the devils. Now that didn't do nothing. I hit him with like a freaking stick. What do you expect, right? Oh, that's gonna hurt. Horned Devil. Um, let's magic it up and say what do I do? Uh, boom. And boom. We're fine. Let's carry on. Whoops. Magic. Uh, magically opened. 4,150 gil. 4,150. So what was the other way then? See? Now I gotta go back the other way. So many battles. So many battles. Let's go straight to a quake and see what a quake will do here in this particular situation. Ground beats fire, right? <laughs> if I'm using my Pokemon logic. But not- how does an earthquake miss? It's a goddamn earthquake. How about a blizzard? You would think fire would rip right through a blizzard, but... You never know. Now I've been poisoned. blizzard -ah! Well, it did okay. But the poison is hurting my body. The poison is hurting my body. My body. My body is injured. Would you like to heal my body? My body is injured. Hey! Would you like to heal my body? Alright, this shouldn't be so bad. Just lizards and a gigas. This is nothing. Yeah, boom. Dead. If every battle could be like that, oh, there's another treasure chest, but it's at the, a dead end. This better be worth it. This better be worth it. This isn't worth it. I'm gonna be sadly disappointed. Like, better be some kind of upgrade that somebody can use. It's gonna be a worthless item, I can just feel it going to be a worthless item. Something that for like a class of character I didn't pick. Another fire elemental. I really needed a water attack. <laughs> great sword obtained. Ooh, a great sword. Is that for my warrior? Well, it's not for the warrior. Is it better than that? No. Is it better than that? No. Is it better than that? No. So I get a great sword, have no idea what the hell it's for, and it's not even any good. Like what the actual? Well, there's another chest over there, and I gotta go all the way around the outside now. <sighs> there's a lot of treasure chests around here, though. But I'm starting to get the feeling that maybe that main hallway is where I wanted to be and this is all like some kind of weird side quest unless there's like some hidden stairs here that I just don't know about yet boom but it's treasure chest galore everywhere I look there's another treasure chest in a freaking maze it's almost like somebody's trying to distract me from getting to the actual boss area. 
Someone is trying to make sure I don't get the Scourge. Uh, let's go to Thunder. Thunder beats flying, right? <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Don't hurt Argo. Or the... You. Slash. And... Thunder... Daga! Thunder Daga! Alright, there we go. That gets the job done. We're just gonna need to use those ethers at some point. We went all the way along the top. How do we get in there now, though? We've got to get inside another zigzagging maze. Block Rock and Beats. Ogre? Hey, Ogre, it's really hot in here, you know? Maybe, maybe we should take this outside. Whatever happened to that, you know? People used to politely ask, Would you like to take this outside? Fighting indoors was just a rude thing to do. Everybody would go like, Would you like to take this outside? Huh? Do you want to take this outside? That was a threat. Going outside was a threat. Because like, that's where you could get injured, was outside. No one got injured inside. 750 kill. And, oh, I can't find out the other one. Double earth. Double fire, I mean. Fire elemental. You know what? I'm going to use a bit more of my magics down here, especially with you. The other guy, at least, is somewhat competent with the sword. Unbelievable. Like, Orko has been... A complete disappointment. A very big disappointment. His stupid little staff does nothing. I try to use his magics, they miss. And he just gets his ass whooped anytime he's touched. Strength, agility, increase, orco, boom, boom, agility, increase, luck. Wow. And treasure chest? Open! 795 from the obtained guild chest. Gilding it up. 7.95. He's just a very big disappointment. That's that's all I can say. Disappointing. It makes me sad inside, Orko. Orko, you make me sad. You make me want to cry, Orko. But look at look a warrior go. Like I still have so much health left. Maybe I should stop with that Quake, because Quake is missing. Lightning is not. Lightning's getting the job done. Okay, there seems to be... What's the point of that other area? Like, there was nothing there, as far as I could see. Uh... Just... Just keep going with the thunder, I guess. Let's try to waste less magic, but... Thunder! Boom. See? Gets the job done. Why Why go for the most powerful one when it gets the job Holy shit! We have a ton, a cornucopia of treasure chests. It's a, you would say, would you say, I have a plethora? Because I would not someone to tell me. That I have a plethora, holy shit, a plethora of treasure chests. If that person who told me I had a plethora did not know what a plethora was. Mithril gloves. Mithril helm. Wow. Okay, I really could have got free stuff here. Boom, 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 boom. And again, we are going to try the quake. It can't always miss, right? Sooner or later, this thing's got to work, right? Sooner or later, it's got to work. You would think it's going to work. It would have to work at some point. It kind of worked. Do you know what? Meatloaf said it. Two out of three ain't bad. 
two out of three ain't bad. 1,760. 1,520. That's a lot of gill. How do I... Oh, wow. Mythical shield obtained from the chest. Mythical axe obtained from the chest. Wow, these chests are placed in a very interesting fashion here. Thundella! But I'm definitely going to need to use those ethers. But you know what? I feel better using my magic now that I know I can buy ethers. What the fuck is that? You know what? We're just going to hit tap, tap, tappy this thing. Okay, good. It, it died fairly easily. 1,455. I should have got that other chest. Damn it. Antidote obtained. 1,975. A tent. I'm tenting. A high potion. Skiddly bop the roo bop bow wham! Go, 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 go! Listen to him rock, listen to him roll. Yeah! The high potion! Run all the way around. Phoenix down obtained. Now, how the hell do I get out of here? That door is an exit. Back out to the main area. Should I? Because I haven't gone very far. It's like the room is literally just over there. I could go outside and have a nice... I could have a nice rest in my tent or sleeping bag or whatever the hell you want to do. Before we continue on down the hall because I haven't found anything in here other than treasure. Treasure? We have got lots of treasure. Treasure for everyone. A cornucopia of treasure. No, don't hurt Argo. Leave? Why won't they just leave Orko alone? Orko never hurt anybody. Why? Leave Orko alone! Ah, you've got to leave Orko alone. Okay. Do you want this? Oh, ooh, I missed a chest. Or oh, did I? Hold on. Was that open or closed? I couldn't tell. Look, it looked, it looked, it looked, it looked closed to me though. It looked closed to me. And, oh, no, it's open. <laughs> okay. It looked close, though, didn't it? It did look close. Oh, one hill, Gigas. Get out of here. Look at this. Levels, 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 levels. Okay, back, back, back. We can go all the way upstairs. Run across this. I don't even know what's down there. Like, I didn't even search the other part yet. Like, the lower half of that area. But I assume going down is the correct thing to do. That's what all these dungeons have been about, was going down. Let's use a cottage. I wonder if you... Oh, look at that. You get a nice... It's like an igloo. That's so Canada. <laughs> we all live in igloos here in Canada. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay. Running, running, and running, and running. Guys, why must we get a, such a difficult battle right as we come back inside? Like, seriously, you know? We just had a nice little rest, and the first thing you guys gotta do is give me a difficult battle, huh? Love that quake, though. And look at that, a triple miss. Triple miss on the earthquake. Who doesn't love that? Triple miss. And then we get poisoned too. Right after a nice big rest. It's like the game new. It's like the game new. It's like, oh, you want to go outside and have a nice rest? Well, we're going to fuck you up then. We're going to fuck you up. Deep, 
and hard. Alright. Unantidoted. Alright, that's the door I came out of. We got a lot of devils. The devils! Devils! <laughs> Have you seen the devil? The devil! Could Orko just go first for once? You know, like just, just, just one time. I'd like Orko to go first. Just one time. Okay, he got hurt uh, quite a bit there. Quite a bit there too. Well, that might be too much magic I'm using. Yeah, see, that was enough. That magic was enough. This one was not, but okay. Okay, the doorway, that led to nothing. I know it did just by running through there. And of course, tradition says my phone must be going off. So, of course, my phone goes off. And we're on, what did this say it was? Mount Glug. Glug, 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 glug. Gulg. Golger. Golgamesh, or whatever the fuck we're at. Mount Golgamesh. <laughs> uh, floor 3. Lots more lava here. Lots more lava. We're being injured. Is that a lava fall? Do I get injured if I just stand on the lava? Like, if I don't move? No, it seems to be as I move. It's only when I take a step. When steps are taken. Also, this is unconfirmed yet. I feel like these random battles are only happening off of lava. See, I step back onto the rock. A hellhound for me. Whoa, that's hell! He hit everybody! Not cool, Mr. Hellhound. Not cool. So, would it be like, see, if I would have stayed on the lava. Would I have taken less damage than battling that stupid hellhound? And, well, stairs are coming quickly here. They are coming very quickly. <sighs> wow. Uh, where do I want to go now? Oh, this, is this another? It is. Okay, I thought it was like a, maybe it was like a side place or something, but it just keeps going down. They just keep going down, down, down. So we'll go down too. Across the lava. Ah! So much lava! There's a lot of lava here. Stairs. Beautiful. More stairs. And we're back up. Stairs, though. Is that right? In a... We must be in a different part of the third floor. A higher part, maybe? A higher plane of existence? What do we got here? Ooh, that looks special. Like, don't those rocks look different? They... Oh, we should have went after the Hellhound! Get that Hellhound! Yes. Smack an ogre. Attack. 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 Boom. Boom ba -dum. Like, these rocks look different, don't they? Should I go down there, or...? So yeah, I don't know if these rocks look different. That's a dead end. Hold it. No, that's an upwards. Everybody attack. Just regular hounds. No hell involved. No hell involved here. Attack! Attack! Everybody attack! And the man in the back said, everyone attack! Eye drops. Okay, it was a dead end. So, back... Down? No, see, that's a lower portion! Ooh! See, that is different. So how do we get there? Or is that the area I was in the first place? And then I went down and around. Maybe I should go back to the other 
floor and explore it more. Because maybe coming this way was the wrong thing to do. Hellhound. From hell's heart I stab at thee. And Orko's in trouble again. Orko is in trouble. Where's my... Where's my hi-fi? Uh, where's the hi-fi? Uh, guys? Oh shit. Hi potion, there it is. Man, I couldn't see nothing. Boom. That's a potion. That's a potion. That's a potion. That's a potion. Everybody potion. Let's go check down here and then we're gonna try to head back to the other area if this doesn't pan off. This is what I saw before, isn't it? I feel like it is. Double your hellhound. Two hellhounds for the price of one. It does pay off. With a door and another B4. Another B4. Do I even enter this door? What if I'm there? What if this is it? But last time there was like five floors, so how could this be the final floor, right? You know? Should I even... What, what time am I at? Ooh, do I dare? Do I dare risk it? Like, what if this is it? There's always been a warning. There's never been enter door and the boss battle begins, right? So... Let's go look! Oh, it's chess. Okay. <laughs> Gold needle. And a fire lizard. A lizard not... Not a regular lizard. A fiery, ferocious lizard. Doo -doo -doo. And we get 2,750 gil. Alright, well, I don't know how much farther there's left to go. But this has been a very deep, dark, well, not very dark because it's very bright. So it's a deep, fiery pit. Yes, a fiery pit of doom. And, uh, so until next time, when hopefully we'll find our way out of here, or to the boss, or something, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. This might go down seven floors, for all I know. But we'll do it next time. I've been Cows Crazy. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. And, of course, moo!